hey guys hello welcome back to my channel nature and cosmos today i am going to talk about mulsuri tree this tree is again part of chiku family now let's look at this tree in detail it is a mid-sized tree which is evergreen and in the right condition the tree can grow up to 12 meters its scientific name is mimoseps elingi and the other names are indian medler spanish cherry bulletwood asian moultry and buckle now let's look at different parts in detail first the bark it is a dark brown or nut brown grayish in color deeply cracked and draped the wood is strong hard close grained and durable and we'll look at its applications at the later part of the video. Now let's talk about the leaves. The leaves are 5 to 15 centimeters long, generally smooth and glossy from above with matte beneath. Midrib often forms a deep valley and the edges of the leaves are wavy. The secondary nerves are very faint and it is nearly evergreen. The leaves are shed in March and new leaves comes in late April and the color of the new leaves is pale green. Now let's talk about the flower. It is a white flower with a very noticeable fragrance. It has narrow petals and the flower comes in May or June and then we see another flush in the rains. If you look at the flower, the petals in the outer circles are narrow but more numerous. Generally, the flower is 1 to 2 cm wide and grow in the clusters of 2 to 6. It has short tuber crowned by two circles of narrow petals totaling about 24 inner circles with 8 to 10 petals. The outer with twice that number. Now let's look at the famous fruit. It is a berry which is olive shaped, green at first and then turning red yellow when ripe as seen in the picture. It is about 3 cm long with matted hair when young and yellow flurry pulp inside is edible. So this is an edible fruit. The pointy segments of the flower cup persist on the fruit as well. Now let's look at other features of the tree. It is a slow growing tree which does best in warm, slightly moist climates. It is also found on the coast of rocky locations. As we discussed before, it is a middle sized tree which branches low and forms a dense dark glossy head. It is generally evergreen. It can withstand water logging for up to two months. The tree is also frost tender but tolerates shades well. Ideally, the tree requires deep fertile soil to thrive. Now let's look at the benefits of this tree. This tree has surprisingly a lot of benefits. Let's look at them. The traditional ether or a perfume is distilled from the flowers of the tree. Leaves are used to treat headache and sore eyes. A decoction of the bark is used to treat fevers, diarrhea and infection of the gum. Unripe fruit is used for fixing loose teeth, crush seeds to cure constipation. Oil from the seeds is used in cooking and as a luminant fuel. The reddish hardwood is used in bridge building boats, mine props and heavy construction. Now let's look at where this tree is commonly found. This tree is native to Western Ghats and Sri Lanka. It extends westwards to Andaman, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia and Vietnam possibly parts of Cambodia and Indonesia as well. It is widely cultivated in India and Pakistan, but not much further than Delhi and Lahore. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please hit that subscription button if you want to know more about your local trees. Thank you.